Hello, good morning, Year 4. This is Mrs Keeley, and this is your Monday morning English lesson. I hope you had a lovely weekend. Um, this is one of my absolute favourite English lessons because you can go wild with your imagination. I absolutely love it. The TLP is Can I Design My Own Lost Thing? So you have met some of the lost things in the Lost Thing book that I read to you last Wednesday. And this is your chance to now design your own. Now, if you were in school, this is the sheet that you would get. Can I design my own lost thing? In the big box, that is where you would draw your lost thing. Then you've got a box for the name, for the purpose and for the three key features of your lost thing. So if you, you can just do this on a blank piece of paper or in your English book on the next clean page. And as long as you include those bits of information, that will be fantastic. Now on the next few pages. These are some of Sean Tan's sketches of some lost things that he maybe didn't put into the book. I think some of them he did put into the book. So you can just have a look at these. You can magpie ideas, you can use them for inspiration, you could think about what they could be called and you should be really great at that because you thought up some names last Tuesday using your noun phrases and your hyphen of the names of some of the lost things. Um, there's some more here. I just love these sketches. They are so awesome. So you can magpie ideas if you're not sure. You can make up something completely original. You choose. Okay. So in the next clean page in your English book, you're going to have a go. But you're going to watch Miss Coleman in a second um, showing you her lost thing and she's going to give it a name, she'll tell you the purpose and she'll tell you the three key features and you can magpie any part of her ideas and use um, what you watch, what she's um, going to show you of her lost thing for inspiration. Right, good luck, I cannot wait to see your lost thing. Make sure you bring it for our Zoom this afternoon. Okay, you four. So, we are going to have a go at drawing our own lost thing. So, you've had a look at the pictures drawn by Sean Tan, his beautiful illustrations and all of his various lost things that he's drawn. And what your job is today is to design your own lost thing. So, when I was designing mine, I was had a look around the classroom and I thought, what? What could be useful in here? And I saw the tripod that me and Mrs. Brooman and Mrs. Keeley have been using to make videos. And I thought, oh, brilliant, adjustable legs. That'll be really helpful. So I'll put the tripod in my, as part of my lost thing. And then I thought, oh, maybe a lamp would be really good to shine light on different things with, a, with an adjustable neck, one of those big long ones. So maybe I'll make that part of my lost thing and that some wheels and added some different bits together. So your lost thing can be whatever you like, whatever objects, whatever things you think would go together well. Yeah, be creative, go for it. You're a fantastic class for this sort of activity. So very excited to see what you come up with. So you're gonna make your drawing and then I would like you to name your lost thing. So I'm gonna use one of the noun phrases that we learnt with Mrs. Brooman, and I'm going to name mine the light making tri, because it's a tripod roller, because it's got wheels, I think. So the light hyphen, remember our hyphens, making. Try roller. Fab. And then we're going to have a think about what is the purpose of your lost thing? What does it do? So mine has this lamp section. So I'm going to say its purpose is to light the way. Okay, and then we're going to have a think. What are three key features of your lost thing? So my lost thing 
this one here, it has these wheels at the bottom as feet. So that's a real key feature of it. So I suppose the wheels are to um, wheel around to different places, to light up different places. So round feet to easily wheel around okay and then what uh, what else is a key feature i've got adjustable legs for different heights that must be i think that's quite important for mine so i'm going to write adjustable legs and my last key feature has got to be the lamp, I think. And he's got these, these funny feelers. I thought that would be important for him to, to be able to feel out whatever he's trying to light up. So a lamp to light up the... So you can do this in your English book or on a piece of plain paper like mine. That it, Wherever you do it, that's absolutely fine. And I'm very excited to see what you come up with on Zoom later on.